With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Our question is, D pi P pi bond is present in which one? We are given CO3 2 negative, PO4 3 negative, NO3 negative and NO2 negative and we are supposed to find out that which has D pi P pi bond in it, right? So, first of all, what is a D pi P pi bond? D pi P pi bond is a pi bond and nothing else, right? This is basically a bond that is formed by the sidewise overlapping between the D orbital of one element and the P orbital of the another element right so if we look at our first option we are given co3 2 negative now we know carbon and oxygen they both belong to second period and their valence shell is second right their valence shell is second and we know for second valence shell we do not have any presence of d orbitals with them right so both of them do not have d orbitals with them so they cannot form a d pi p pi bond right so this option get cancelled then we have po4 3 negative in this case oxygen do, do not have any d orbital but phosphorus sure do have right so if we uh, write the electronic configuration for, for phosphorus we have 1s2 2s2 2p6, 3s2 and 3p3, right. Now what is the structure for phosphate ion? We have P double bond oxygen, then we have O negative, O negative and O negative, right. Because phosphorus belongs to nitrogen family, has 5 valence electrons and it is making 5 bonds over here like this, right. So what is the requirement? Requirement would be the presence of 5 unpaired electrons with it, right. So this is our ground state and if, uh, if suppose we draw the orbitals in the ground state we have s orbital then we have p orbital then there is presence of empty d orbitals with it as well right like this so we have two electrons over here and then we have three electrons over here right so what happens is that we need five unpaired electrons so what would happen this one in s electron would shift in the d orbital and the excited state would look like this we have one electron over here three over here and one over here right so now it is making one two three and four sigma bonds and one pi bond so first of all sigma bonds are formed so four sigma bonds would be formed with here right so the uh, there would be formation of four sigma bonds with these orbitals and then one pi bond would be formed like this right this pi bond formed is formed between the d orbital of the phosphorus right this is d orbital d orbital of the phosphorus and the p orbital of oxygen so this would be what this would be a d pi p pi bond right so there is presence of a d pi p pi bond so this is our option correct then if you talk about no3 negative and the fourth option that is no2 negative these both have nitrogen and oxygen with them which belongs to second period and hence does not have any d orbital they do not have any d orbital so no d orbital right and hence no d pi p pi bond right so if we look at our option this is wrong this is wrong this is wrong only this is the one that has p pi d pi bond in, the, in it so our answer is second for class 6 to 12 itg and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today